Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Christopher and I am so excited that you decided to join us. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, look no further my friends because this place is for you. So you might as well click that little red subscribe button and join the fast growing community. And if you're gonna hang out with us here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram as well. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I post over there daily. It's a great way to have touch points every single day, and I would love to hang out with you over there as well. I'm so excited to bring my June favorites to you. Like always, I have some skincare, some books, some music, some house products a great variety of things to share with you that I have been loving this month. So let's go ahead and get this video started. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Scrub. It is a velvety soft skin polish. I absolutely love this stuff, and oddly enough, I found it at Home Goods. It normally retails for $16. I got it there for, I think, $7.99. This body scrub is one that I've been going to all the time this month. It smells obviously like lemon and sage, so it leaves your skin feeling really fresh, really lightly scented for summer. I also find that this is the absolute lightest like version of a body scrub or exfoliant you can get. I mean, you can barely feel any of the like beads of exfoliant in there, but they are present. So this gives like a very mild scrub to your skin, leaving it really soft, really bright, and just beautifully, beautifully fragranced. It's just a great, great product, and I can't wait to explore Bliss's products a little bit more in the future. The next product I'm going to talk about I've had for a while, but I didn't really start using it consistently until the month of June, and that is the Davines Manu Hair Mask. This hair mask I've been using at least once, sometimes twice a week, to really recondition my hair. How I use it is I grab a scoop, I put it on my hair right at the beginning of my bath, and then I rinse it off at the end of my bath. I have found that my hair feels stronger, it looks more nourished, it looks healthier, and it has never been more soft. I find as the weather is warming up, my hair is beginning to feel drier and drier, so that's when I put this into play, and it has made such a huge difference. I absolutely love it. I am excited to explore the other Davines products because let me tell you, this one is great. If you're looking for a really deep conditioning, illuminating your hair a little bit, especially if your hair is color treated, I think this is a great hair mask to incorporate into your routine weekly. The last thing I have to talk about is right behind me, and that would be this bath tray. I have absolutely fallen in love with this. This was a gift from Steven because I take a bath almost every single night during the week and I wanted something to like make it feel a little fancier. So he got me this bath tray. First of all, it expands to about 42 inches. We have a really wide soaker tub and this fits really comfortably, but it also can be made much smaller. So I think this will fit for a lot of you. I love it because I put my candle on this side. I put my wine glass, there's a wine glass holder. You just slide the base right in there. And then lastly is this little kickstand for a book. It is absolutely perfect. It makes it so nice to have everything within arm's reach. I like that the candle's a little closer to you so you can actually enjoy it and smell it. I just love this thing to death. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen many snapshots of this. Um, I just highly recommend it for anyone who wants to up their bath game and feel just a little fancier. This is a great, great option. All right, so that is it for all the skincare bath products. So let's go ahead and see what else I have on my favorites list. The next favorite for this month is probably one of the most asked about things ever that I've put in a vlog, and it would be these bad boys. This is a set of glass straws that I purchased on Amazon. They are just the right length to be universal for so many cups and tumblers. I also love that they're pretty wide, so they work well for smoothies or just for a glass of water. Now, they also come with this brush, so they are super easy to clean, and I love them. And I think they're perfect for summer. They definitely add like a little touch of elegance and a little touch of luxe for a really low price point. I love these things. All right, all I have left to talk to you about is a book recommendation, music, and one accessory that I have to share with you. So let's wrap this up. 
All right, gang, so it is time to share my book favorite, which I think is truly the summer read of 2017. It was recommended to me by a friend. She brought me her copy. I started reading it and I couldn't put it down. And that is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This book is so stinking good. It is about a travel reporter named Lo Blacklock and she gets invited to this luxury cruise line which is very small, has very few cabins. And while she is there, she sees a woman thrown overboard and she brings it to everyone's attention. However, everybody who is meant to be on that cruise ship is accounted for. So it is this psychological thriller with twists and turns. Like literally you cannot put it down. It is that good. Now I will tell you when I first got the title, The Woman in Cabin 10, I thought it was like about a summer camp in a cabin or something like that. Nope, it's a cruise ship. I absolutely loved it and I highly, highly recommend it. The next thing I'm so excited to share with you is the June playlist. It is my favorite playlist, although this is only the second one I've created. I like it way more than the first. It is called Christopher's June Jams. I will put the album art right here. You can search that on Spotify. I'll also leave all the information linked down below for you. It is a super motivational playlist. It has some of my favorite artists like Alex G, Sia, Fletcher, um, Olivia Holt, Katy Perry, Lights, Lucas Graham, B. Miller, Bianca Ryan. It's a great playlist. I think my favorite song on it is Giants by the artist Lights. It's so well, we could be giants, the the oh, it's such a good playlist. I've literally been playing it on loop for the week. Once again, it's all linked down below. It is my favorite songs for June. I just can't wait to share it with you. The last thing I'm going to talk about is an accessory that I have been loving this month, and it is, well, I got three of them. Three bracelets sent by Alexis, who is a subscriber, a YouTuber, and also has her own jewelry company called wearlex.com. I'm going to leave it linked down below. Her jewelry is amazing and such high quality. She uses all real stone. So I have like this onyx one that has silver and gold. I love it. This one, which is like more brown tones. And then this one, which is like grays and beiges. I wear this one probably the most because I love the way it looks with my gray eye watch band as well as this tan one that I have. Um, they're super high quality. She makes them all by hand. They're amazing. Check out her website. I know she has a new collection that was just coming out. So if you're looking for high quality jewelry at a really great price point, definitely check out wearlex.com because I all right, my friends, so that wraps up June Favorites. I hope that you loved it as much as I have. Like always, I will leave everything linked down below. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on a monthly's favorites. And in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.